Did you know the world's largest metal sculpture is over 110 feet tall, located in North Dakota, USA? This colossal creation exemplifies how metal sculpturing transforms imagination into reality. Intrigued? Let's dive into the captivating world of metal sculpturing. We're exploring the fascinating world of metal sculpture. Our journey will take us through the backbone of this art form, the basic techniques of sculpting, welding, cutting, bending and more. We'll also delve into the diverse types of metals you can use, each with its unique properties. From crafting intricate small-scale pieces to monumental public installations, we cover it all. Of course, safety is paramount and we won't forget that. Get ready to spark up the forge and delve into the process. The art of metal sculpture begins with mastering basic techniques, welding. This technique is all about fusion. With the right heat source and filler material you can join different metal pieces together, creating a sturdy structure for your sculpture. Moving on, we have cutting techniques. Imagine having a metal slab and needing to shape it into your desired form. That's where cutting comes into play. One popular method is plasma cutting. It's like a hot knife through butter, but for metal. It can slice through any metal with precision, allowing you to create intricate designs and details. Next up, let's talk about bending. This technique is all about flexibility and form. With the right tools and a bit of muscle you can bend metal rods and sheets into almost any shape. From gentle curves to sharp angles bending adds another dimension to your sculpture, transforming flat pieces into three-dimensional works of art. But what about texture that's where hammering comes in. By striking the metal with a hammer you can create a variety of textures and patterns. Whether you want a smooth surface or a rough rugged look, hammering offers you that flexibility. Furthermore, it's worth mentioning that these techniques aren't standalone. In fact, they often go hand in hand. For example, you might need to cut a metal piece before welding it onto your sculpture, or perhaps you'll bend a rod into shape and then hammer it for texture. It's this combination of techniques that allows you to create complex and unique sculptures. And last but not least, remember that practice makes perfect. These techniques might seem daunting at first, but with time and persistence you'll get the hang of it. Start with simple projects and gradually work your way up to more complex designs. Each project is a learning experience, a chance to refine your skills and push your creative boundaries. Understanding these techniques is the first step in turning your metal slab into a work of art. So roll up your sleeves, fire up your forge, and let your imagination take shape. The choice of metal can dramatically affect your sculpture's aesthetics and durability. In the realm of metal sculpturing, the type of metal you choose can be as crucial as the design itself. Let's delve into a few common metals that artists often choose for their creations. Starting with steel, it's a popular choice due to its strength and versatility. It can be molded into intricate designs without losing its structural integrity. However, one downside is its susceptibility to rust, which may require additional treatments or maintenance. Next up, we have aluminum. This metal is lighter and easier to work with, making it an excellent choice for beginners. It's also resistant to corrosion, ensuring your masterpiece will stand the test of time, even in harsh conditions. Then we have copper, a metal known for its beautiful natural patina. This characteristic blue-green coating forms over time and adds a unique antique charm to the sculpture. It's also a softer metal, which makes it easier to carve detailed designs. Lastly, let's not forget about bronze. This alloy, made primarily of copper and tin, has been used in sculpture for centuries. It's incredibly durable and ideal for pieces that will be displayed outdoors. Remember, each metal has its own unique properties, strengths, and weaknesses. Consider the intended location, the level of detail, and the desired aesthetic of your sculpture when choosing your metal. Knowing the properties of these metals can help you make an informed decision. So, pick wisely and let your imagination transform these metals into a tangible reality. Working on a smaller scale doesn't mean sacrificing detail or complexity. Indeed, it's in the realm of small-scale metal sculptures where the precision of the craft truly shines. Here, every cut, bend, and weld matters, giving life to intricate designs and intricate narratives. The process of creating these mini masterpieces begins with a concept. It's your vision that guides the transformation of the raw metal into an expressive piece of art. Once you've got your idea, it's time to choose your technique. Two popular methods for crafting small-scale sculptures are electroforming and lost wax casting. Electroforming is a process where metal is deposited onto a form by an electric current. This method is perfect for creating finely detailed sculptures, as the metal can form around even the smallest of features. On the other hand, lost wax casting, 
a method dating back thousands of years, involves creating a wax model of your sculpture, encasing it in a mold, and then melting the wax away, leaving a cavity that you can fill with molten metal. This technique is ideal for creating highly detailed and complex forms. Both techniques require patience and a steady hand but the results can be truly stunning. From delicate pieces that fit in the palm of your hand to intricate tabletop displays, the possibilities are endless. These smaller pieces are perfect for interior spaces and can make just as much of an impact as their larger counterparts. So, what have we learned today about the art of metal sculpturing? We delved into the basics, understanding that welding, cutting and bending are essential techniques to master. We discovered that the choice of metal, be it steel, aluminum or copper, can greatly influence the final look and durability of our sculpture and we observed that crafting on a smaller scale doesn't mean compromising on detail or impact. Remember, the choice of metal can impact both aesthetics and longevity, and small sculptures can be as impactful as large installations. That about wraps up our exploration of metal sculpturing. It's an art form that's as challenging as it is rewarding. Always remember to follow safety measures as you embark on this creative journey. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more insightful videos. Until next time, keep sculpting.